everyone, it's Beth from Sweet Art's Hair and I'm with a new model, Rianne. Um, so she's just gone back from Manchester, she's flown down the motorway for me, so thank you for that Rianne. Okay, so the reason I've asked Rianne is she's got a natural sort of texture to her hair, a little bit curly but not a perfect curl. So I thought I'd show you how to do a really easy cute updo with somebody that's got a natural curl to the hair. But don't worry, if you are watching and you've got straight hair, you can still do this style. So the first thing I'm going to do guys um, to start this style is I'm going to pull down some little bits around the face so if you're doing it on yourself obviously just look in the mirror and pull some bits down and if you're doing it on a client just get them to sort of help you with this bit what did they like to see you know a lot of people don't like it all back so it's about getting it right of how much hair they like down. I'm just going to pull some random bits. I'm not going to worry if they're like kinked out the wrong way. I can sort those out later on. And then what I'd like you to do is just kind of pin these out of the way. Now, Rianne's got a bit of texture to her hair. When it's wet, actually, there's even more of a curl than is there today. It's just got a little bit of a wave today. But what I try and do is rather than go through all the hair and recurl it, if they've already got a natural texture or a natural curl, I'll just take some odd pieces and I'll give them a heat curl. So if they've got a sort of medium curl, I'll go for that one. If they've got a big bouncy curl, natural curl, I'll go for this kind of one size. And if they've got a really tight spiral curl, I'll go for that one. So what I'm gonna be doing with Rianne is just, instead of going through all of her hair and curling, I'll probably do about 40%, 30 to 40% of her hair. And then we'll use those curls to do the updo. What I'm also gonna do, guys, is I'm not gonna be doing all the curls in the same direction. I'm gonna be alternating and it'll give it a more natural look. If you do all the curls going away from the face, it's not going to look like a natural curl. So that's as much curling as I'm going to do. As you can see, the top layer's done, but I've got quite a bit underneath that I didn't do. I might get the wand out later on and just grab a few more bits. But on the whole, that's just taking me under 10 minutes to do. Um, and you can see that some of the curls are straighter, which was Rianne's natural hair there. But I think this updo, it's gonna be quite a natural pinned up updo. And I quite like the fact that the curls aren't all uniform. Okay, so from the front guys, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a tiny bit of back comb on this sort of hairline here but I don't want it to be all smoothed out. I want these curls to kind of almost sit quite naturally on top, but I do just want that little bit of volume. So just random slices of hair, guys, like that. And just a little bit of a push down with the comb, nothing too major. Just taking the comb and making sure you can't see any back comb. Can you see how that's lifted that away from the side of a head like that and then in a minute we'll sort of position all this hair and we'll start to pin it. So as you can see that back comb has just lifted Rianne's hair up a little bit at that front hairline like that and then I'm going to show you how I'm going to pin it now. So literally, try not to disturb the hair too much. I'm just gonna take sections like that and just almost sort of just twist them in and just start to pin the hair. Next we're going to move on to these side sections guys, so again I'm just going to take, try not to sort of mess with the hair too much, just let the hair naturally go where it wants to go and we're going to pin these side sections into the centre. So 
So I'm just pinning that hair out the way for myself, guys. And actually all this hair underneath, I actually want to sweep this up. I might just leave out just a few little random strands on the neckline, just to soften it. And then lastly guys, I'm just going to pin some of this loose ends up there. So just making that sort of where the majority of the hair, just some little pieces just coming down. I think I'll look really pretty. I want this style to look quite effortless and loose. As though she's just kind of got out of bed and swept her hair up and she's just naturally got amazing hair. So I think I've kind of finished pinning there guys. You can make it more structured if you want to. You can get all those curls pinned in. What I like about this technique is because you've swept it up off the neckline, Rihanna looks like she's got a lot more hair and a lot longer hair than she's actually got. Um, so next what we're gonna do is just sort of do a little bit more curling, take these pins out and sort the front out. But I don't mind and so I've taken this one away from the face and I'll probably take the next one towards the face. So that is my easy curly updo finished. I'm going to do a little spin for you. so much for watching guys please like subscribe and comment and i will see you next week for another video bye